So I've made it to 10,000 subscribers. It's absolutely amazing to get to this really big milestone. And thank you to each and every one of you for supporting the channel, whether it's the IGCSE, the IB, the A level, or the chess content as well that I've been putting out over the last few years. And I just want to take a moment to talk about my story getting to 10,000 subscribers. And hopefully it will serve as some sort of inspiration that hard work and dedication education and really enjoying what you do really does bear fruit. So where does the story begin? So I put out a test video. You can still check this out on the channel. I'll put a link above just in case you want to see my very first video. And I tried this inequality series because I found a few of my year nine students were struggling with that and it, they did okay. Um, we've got a couple of hundred views. Um, I think people generally found it quite interesting. Yeah, this idea of uh, their teacher doing a few YouTube videos. And then we go along about six months or so, and I had a year 11 class at the time, and I was teaching this international maths course, the 0607 course. And they're asking about uh, revision, so what could they do to revise? And I say past paper practice is the way to go. I still say that even now. And there was very little out there for them for this specific course, which is quite different to some of the other courses out there with the paper two, the paper four, paper six, and the style of questions as well. So I decided to put some paper two videos out there and just do some walkthroughs. Um, yeah, <laughs> I didn't really know about editing at that particular point, and you can see that uh, in the video. Uh, but I've tried to put something out there, so particularly the more difficult questions, they've got something to work with, and even if I'm not teaching them then, at least they've got some resources to use as well. And these videos really, really did well, and I was quite surprised. I know a lot of people out there do IGCSE, GCSE videos, but I didn't realize that so many people wanted this 0607 content. So I was like, oh, okay, that's interesting. Um, how about putting some paper six out there, this investigation paper, which every student dreads. And if you're a year 11 pupil now, I'm sure you know what I mean. So I put that out there as well. I put out some uh, advice videos as well, some general advice videos, and they're doing well even up to this day. And again, struggle with editing, but uh, I'm getting better and better as I go along. And I thought to myself, well, you know, can I do more? Can I do more uh, for the people out there? So I tried a variety of different videos, tried some of these sort of short videos. What is calculus? You know, try and just gauge the interest of uh, the community out there. And then I got to 200 subscribers by doing a few more videos. I think this one will make you laugh if you haven't checked out already. So a bit of boxing with the ginger mathematician. And, you know, I also try to do quite a bit of fitness on the channel, at least at the start. So then we move along to 300 subscribers. So it uh, gradually uh, catches pace here. I try and put out a few more videos. And uh, I was teaching a year eight class at the time. And I put out the 500 subscriber special, which um, it's one of my favorite subscriber special videos. I'll put a link in above because it's one of my favorites. And we go through that and bake a cake. I do a bit of fitness. And I really try to put the chess together with the fitness and with the maths as well, because all those three things do work together to get the better grades. Um, what I found, however, is I started to try and put together an all of video. So I noticed out there, there was lots of these small videos, say you want to revise uh, bearings, and they do five minutes on bearings. Um, but I thought what would be really useful for my students is if I could boil down the 10 key topics on a particular course and then just get lots of exam practice on that with the way I like to try and explain the questions. And uh, the videos I came up with was the All of IGCSE 0607 and the most popular video on the channel at the moment, so the All of IGCSE 0580. And that's where I really saw like what YouTube can really do to promote to students all across the world. Um, I have students here from India, Malaysia, Zimbabwe, South Africa, um, China, there's lots of different effects I can have on people. And it's such a great feeling to have when so many students are posting in the comments and saying, yeah, really thank you for that video. It's really helpful. I really got stuck on GDC skills. I really got stuck on mensuration, but you've really made it clear. And 
yeah, from there, I mean, the channels just got bigger and bigger. Um, one thing I've started doing the last couple of years is the prediction videos. So I've been using my experience on the courses to go through the past papers the last three, four years and see if there's a pattern of some kind. And I found students found this really, really useful for really sort of honing their revision down and going, right, these are the topics I need to know, or these are more likely on paper four than paper two. And so I found the prediction videos are really, really, people really receptive to those as well. So then we come along to about 1,000, 2,000 subscribers. Again, I do like my uh, special videos. I do singing for 2,000 uh, subscribers. And then what's really kicked the channel on from there is these all of IGCSE videos. And uh, I put a few out there. Actually, if you check out the video you see just in front of you at the moment, I had COVID at this particular time. I didn't say anything in the video. I didn't have it particularly badly. But I was in isolation uh, for a week during the Easter holidays. And I thought, what better could I do than just go through some topics and just pick out some really difficult topics and then go through those. And they have been really, really popular. The vectors, the transformations, the sets. And I will be bringing more out as well to cover the topics that are not quite being covered in so much detail. And particularly during the exam period last year, so around April, May, the channel just exploded, particularly the IGCSE content, also some of the IB content as well, as you found it really useful, these predictions, these all of videos, so you can go onto the channel, you can send them think after 50 minutes, me going through vectors and lots of different exam style questions from the courses, you then got that mastery of it. And I think that's the way I'm going to start going, particularly in the future, I'm going to be looking at A level videos, uh, some of the more IB high level topics as well, that maybe you struggle with because yeah, it is difficult content. And yeah, I just want to say a few thank yous uh, at this point. So yeah, thank you for seeing to my family, <laughs> uh, my parents do occasionally watch my videos, whether they like the maths or not, but I uh, really do appreciate it. Uh, thank you for the collaborators that I've been working with, particularly in the last year or so. So just to mention a few of those, Abdullah Maths Tutoring, thank you Abdullah, I'm sure you can hear me there. Uh, Maru Maths, thank you. Um, New Yes as well, that I looked at a calculator for as well. Yeah, really thank you for being able to work with you and really do appreciate the opportunity to have worked with you and hopefully in the future as well. So where is the channel going to be going after those 10,000 subscribers? Well, I'm certainly going to be putting out more A-level content and IB content. So I'm certainly going to put that in. I'm going to be bringing out more YouTube shorts and IGCSC. So for example, summarizing and say 30, 40 seconds, what do you need to know to really succeed on paper two? Or what do you really need to know on the modeling question on 0607? So it's really short, sharp, to the point. And just by watching that video, you've got a good idea of where to steer your revision. Um, I'm also going to be looking at doing a masterclass for IGCSE as well. So for the 0607 and 0580. So a paper two masterclass, paper four masterclass. And after that, you'll be like fully prepared then for the videos that will be coming too. I'll also be keeping you up to date with any changes to the IGCSE IBA level courses in 2023 and 2024. So if I find something in the examiner's report you could find really, really useful, then I will be letting you know. And of course, I'll be posting my memes on the community page as well. So do keep an eye out for those. I always enjoy putting out a meme a week just to see what you think about it and particularly the new memes that are coming out too. So thank you again for all your support to get to 10,000 subscribers. Hopefully we're going to push on from here. Let's get on to 20, 30,000. And yeah, thank you for all the support of the channel, particularly the comments. Um, I really do answer every single comment. I do like to see what you do with the qualification and what you do from there. Do you go on to A-level IB? Are you going on to university? Are you going to apprenticeship or training? I really want to hear about your story as well, because yeah, it, it really hits me here as well. All right, bye-bye for now.